can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you Hey guys, welcome back here. We're going back to another video. In today's video, you already know we have to work on the M4. So excited. It is so four. exciting. This is obviously part two, same exact day. I've been just recording so many other clips to get that other video out for you guys. I've been literally delayed off YouTube for like a week because I've been just literally just trying to focus on getting this car, ordering parts. I've already been ordering so many parts because I want to get the videos out banger after banger. So we have the i8 over there for the looks on the channel. We're definitely going to be bagging that as well. But the M4 is going to be here on the channel for the power gains. And we're not bagging this. We're going to be putting coilovers. So I'm pretty Pretty sure they want to see this thing fully tracked out and I'm pretty excited for it as well mainly because the 135 is what I wanted to track but at the end of the day deep down inside the M4 is where it's at I'm, the, I'm just I'm like I'm the just S55 it. is where it's I'm at I'm picturing it already rebuilt with the perfect mods just, and, the, and the wrap and the G, GTS it. everything it's gonna be insane dude yeah. this is like I'm actually just as ecstatic as getting this car that was with the other M3 the, the E92 M3 and that came out absolutely stunning this car is absolutely destroyed. But yeah, guys, we got so much work to do. I just want to take apart all most of the stuff so we can just see how bad the damage is. But honestly, it's not looking as bad as I thought. It's not. It's really not. So, with the good news about the so I was really afraid that this crash bar right here is going to be buckled. But it looks like the aluminum buckled up, and this looks pretty fine. We don't know how this 100% yet. We're going to have to look in there. But the only way to get back there is to actually remove all this stuff. It is just really bad. Obviously, this is going to need to go to the frame shop. That's pretty bad as well. But all this is fixable stuff. I'm really happy about all that. Looks like the transmission cooler is gone. Radio condenser that's all shot as well so that's some extra expenses I for completely forgot about we'll have to factor in all that stuff but this wheel thankfully looks really good this fender shot so unfortunately I do need another fender but this wheel looks really good oh my god and dude it comes with two keys okay so our first mission before we just start working on this car has to be getting to the trunk so I don't know this headlight no damage happened here so I'm really hoping this headlights to the truck because that's a two thousand dollar headlight this this car came with the LED package so I'm really hoping we have a headlight in the trunk. We don't know yet. We're going to try to access the truck. That is the goal of right now. Just access the trunk, get power to the car. We need to roll up the windows. And we just need, we just need, to, get, we just need to get working, bro. I'm, 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 I'm set. I'm, I'm set. We're both set. We're both speechless. We have an M4 on our driveway. And uh, there's so much to do. We have so many plans. And this is Nor in the future interrupting you guys. I just want to give you guys all a shout out to purchase merch from the last video. So there's actually a lot of you guys. So I'm going to try to be as quick as possible. But just in case I pronounce it wrong, you guys' his name is going to be written down here. All right, so I'm going to be saying the first names with the First and last thing is going to be right down here. So the first one is Ernesto. Huge shout out to Andrew. Shout out to Anthony. Shout out to Roy. Shout out to Hadifa. Samir. Gerardo. Looks like Hadifa again. Shout out to you. Christian and Michael. Shout out to you guys. Miguel and Christian. Christian again. Oh, shout out to Miguel. Shout out to Christian again. Jeron and Scott. Shout out to you guys as well. Shout out to William and Nick. And last but not least, shout out to Michael. Thank you all so much for purchasing merch to support your boy. This build is probably Probably gonna be one of my most expensive builds. Already buying this as a total car was eighteen thousand dollars. I could have purchased a per like a really low mileage clean title four thirty five or clean title three thirty five, but we want an M on the channel. If you guys want to be shout out on the next video, make sure to just cop some merch down below. Use code M four for twenty five percent off any accessories or decals. Without further ado, let's jump right back into the video. So this is how I was looking. We actually dropped out some coolant. We literally thought the coolant was completely out of the car. It looks like it had some coolant in there. Um, but anywho, this is a lot of junk parts. We got a lot of good screws out there we need for the next part of the build. We got some pieces out that are reusable. Uh, this this radiator, I think it is a radiator, I believe. This radiator is good on that side. This one's completely shot. Um, I dig out the intake in this thing. What we're gonna be reusing off of this is a bunch of the headlight screws because those are very expensive screws. I think these are like 40 bucks each. So we're gonna reuse those screws. As for this, we just need to get the mass airflow sensor off. And for this one, we just pretty much need this connector because this is needs to be soldered back to the car 
or we're gonna have to get a new harness. Also, thankfully, we found one of the headlight. I mean, these are the, the cameras on the sides. These are $200 a pop. Luckily, the one on the passenger side is still there. Again, we're really hoping the other headlights in the trunk. We said we we're gonna go in there first, but I decided, you know what? Let's just remove as much things from the front end as possible so nothing's like sagging on the ground. And uh, yeah, I just honestly wanna get as much things off the front end as possible. Let's try to see if we can do that on today's video. Obviously, assembling is gonna be a whole lot harder, but I wanna just pretty much get this thing as not so totaled as possible. Also, what's super awesome, you guys, look at this bar right here. This is the frame rail that I was super worried about. Look how buckled that is. And I'm so happy BMW did not make this one with the frame. This all got destroyed, but thankfully the frame looks perfect. Nothing here, just this part needs to get pulled back out. And oh my God, I'm so happy that this thing is straight. I, I couldn't be happier on how straight this is. But guys, this, this is a whole situation we need to figure out. But it's all worth it. It's an M4 S55, boys. <laughs> Another update, guys. This pile is getting pretty big, not gonna lie. Uh, we did pull off that stuff, that stuff. Again, that radiator is good. Uh, that is part of the giveaway. So as you guys can see, it's partially cracked here. Um, don't wanna mess with that anymore because the rest of this looks pretty cool. So I got the mass airflow sensor off of that. That's off. We're trying to get this crash bar off because once we get this crash bar off, everything else should be able to get pulled out. Um, so yeah, that just looks really buckled, but I, I can't wait to pull that out because that's gonna fix all of the situation and it's gonna make the, the it's gonna make the situation look less serious. I'm definitely gonna go with an upgraded radiator because why not? We're gonna go with maybe like a CSF radiator and we're gonna go with an upgraded maybe CSF transmission cooler because we're gonna have to remove it anyway. So those are mine as well as parts that we should just, you know, get that stuff done. But I just really want to start getting this stuff out of the way. All right guys, little update. We did get everything out of this side and thankfully this does look as good as we imagined. So I'm super happy with that. As for these, I'm gonna put back the three screws there just to make sure we know where those three screws are. And then as for this bottom one, we're gonna put the screw back in there. Luckily guys, none of this stuff is damaged. Like, oh my God, I'm so blessed. This is the subframe and it's not even bent. Everything is perfectly on it from what I can see at least. And this is perfect from what I can see as well. So I'm just super happy in how this came out. This is a very, very, very minor repair. A body shop can easily fix this. So I'm not too worried about that. But this was something I was worried about and that, and I'm so happy both of those came out great. So now at this point, guys, I think um, what I'm gonna do, go ahead and do, just remove all this stuff so we can so we can test out the motor one of these days. I, I don't understand what this is, this is, and this is. There's three different kinds. It's like one, two, three. I think this is the condenser. Maybe this is a radiator, this is another radiator, and then that's a transmission cooler. So we have so many things we have to unplug, so I think we should just try and do it. Give it, we're just gonna give it a shot. All right, guys, it's getting kind of late. The camera is making it look like we have a lot of sunlight, but there's not much light out here. You guys can see how much brighter the garage is compared to out here. So we do have a lot of junk, and uh, obviously this is all in our driveway. So we're gonna have to figure this out. The main thing right now for us after this is to figure out what's going on with the car and try to get to the trunk. We need to get to the trunk. So the last thing we're gonna be focusing on today is removing this fan. After we remove the fan, uh, we're pretty much gonna be calling it a day for the front end, and we're gonna try to figure out what's going on with the trunk. All right, guys, so uh, we literally, the only thing that's keeping all this thing up is this little bungee cord right here. So we're gonna leave that on there so at least we can push the car, move it over here for overnight. But as for now, I do wanna still get to the trunk. <sighs> Man, I don't know, do you think we should get to the trunk today or tomorrow? Because I, I, it's gonna be a process. Um, we might actually have to get to the trunk tomorrow, to be honest, yeah. yeah. I think what we're gonna do, go ahead and do, we're gonna have to get to the trunk tomorrow. It's just, it's getting really dark out here and I really want to make sure you guys can see everything. So you guys are not gonna see anything that's going on inside the car. What is the point in all that? So. Uh, meantime, I think we're gonna take this stuff inside of the garage, take the mass airflow sensor out, take out that pump, maybe even see if we can uh, salvage anything out of that fan right there. 
uh, and just start cleaning up the area because we have a lot of work to do uh, tomorrow morning. But you guys will see this tomorrow morning, so make sure to smash the like button if you guys are excited for the M4 build. It is just so crazy to see an M4 just sitting right here. It is not in the best condition, but you guys know all my builds end up coming out pretty beautiful. Remember, guys, use code M4 to cop any Save BMW accessory or decal. You'll be shout out in the next video, and you'll be featured on the plaque that's going to be going on to my new place that I'm moving into pretty soon. The plaque, yeah, the name's going to be featured on a plaque, which is pretty sick, right? Yeah. So we do that with every big build that we do on this channel so if you guys want to be featured on that pack make sure you do that all right guys so uh the m4 is just gonna have to sit like this for a little bit it's getting super dark i can't even work on the interior i guess in the next video we'll figure out what's going on in the trunk if we have any headlights that's worth any cash in the trunk that we could put on the front end and save us so much money honestly this is looking like a pretty big project this thing has so many radiator condensers a whole bunch of stuff that i'm not even familiar with and i'm sure it's going to cost a hefty penny there's still three on the car and we took off three and we have another one on there so there's like a total of seven radiator condensers that's transmission cool is just on the front that's pretty insane that just comes to show us it's a real track car but anyhow we're gonna get these parts inside the garage real quick and let's get everything off of those we have a pump on there we have a mass airflow sensor we need to get that stuff off and then junk the rest that is our junk pile over there that is a reusable pile and that is for the giveaway guys the carbon fiber strut let's go ahead and get all this stuff uh, situated we're we'll getting in the garage we'll show you guys what's going on but yeah i wouldn't want to get to the trunk today but it's just too dark you guys aren't gonna be able to see the content Right? You can't even see it. Yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> so the car is looking a whole lot better. Um, I didn't realize the car had like seven different kind of radiator thingy, like condensers, transmission coolers, bunch of things from the front end. And I can see why someone around probably get a total from the rear end and then literally just chop the car to replace that part. But you know, I, I don't have that kind of professional expertise. You know, I work from my garage, like just like a lot of you guys. So uh, this is something that me and my brother are willing to tackle. So yeah guys, uh, right now, as of today, like I said at the beginning of the video, save the BMW merch, accessories and decals, 25% off, use code M4. And everyone that orders something is gonna be featured on the M4 plaque. Basically I have an M4 plaque for everyone that purchased merch to support your man right here. Cause your man's gonna get so broke after building this thing. And let me know guys, should I give this away to one of you guys or should I just throw it away? I don't know, it just looks super cool. I, I, I mean, I feel like one of you guys would at least want it as like a souvenir from the M4, let me know. Uh, if so, if you guys want me to give this away, um, from wherever that purchases merch, one of you guys will literally just get this in the, your front door. I think that'd be pretty sick. So if you guys can smash that like button, 4,000 likes would be pretty insane. And if you guys can get 4,000 likes for the M4 build, I'll make sure to upload tomorrow. Me and my brother right behind the camera right now. We're not going to, we're really going to go straight to editing, wake up early, work on the car, edit it, and get it out tomorrow for you guys. So if you guys want that to happen, smash that like button, 4,000 likes, and that's the plan. Without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.